Hello, my name is Jackie Rowland, and you might know me from the famous Art of Institute Musical School. Well, I wasn't always a music teacher. As you might know, if you are a fan of me, I used to be a very popular music sensation. Jackie Rowe was my stage name. But now I just sit at home and compose for myself. This is my story. I started playing music at the age of 14. Back then, we were a very poor family, and my father was working two jobs, my mother was working three. We needed to do something to survive. My eldest brother was working in the fields, my sister was out prostituting. Obviously, I needed to do something to fulfill my family's needs. So, as a young 14-year-old lad, I just sat out in front of my house at first, took out my one string guitar, because that's all I could afford at the time, and started playing anything I could. This was the first song I have ever written. I call it Baby Street Blues. And now I think back and I say, thank God I'm not in that situation anymore. I was born in Liverpool, England. Back at the time, like I mentioned before, we were a very poor family. And um, I was living in a little apartment with my mum, my dad, my brother, my other brother, my cousin, my grandpappy, my grandmama, my sister, and my pet dog. We called him Snookums. He was a good lad, he was. Well, I started out with um, Cream. I, uh, I played a bit of uh, Led Zeppelin cover bands. We were known as um, Pen Zeppelin, didn't want to get the uh, copyright issues. We did um, a bit of ACDC. Uh, a lot was popular that, you know, a lot of English bands. There was uh, London Calling, uh, there was The Clash, there was a lot of other bands, and I stuck with my English bands, they really stood out to me. You see, I started playing with uh, Six Pistols and all that. It was, it was in the time of uh, revolution and punk on anarchism and all that. And um, to be all honest, I, I didn't really give a, a hoot nanny about their whole anarchism. I just I wanted to play uh, music. So uh, one day at a rally, uh, someone asked me to, to go beat up a, a police cop. And uh, obviously, I'm not gonna lose it in my right no mind to go beat up a Bobby. I mean, I, I, I'm not, I'm not insane. So, um, Sid later told me it was for the revolution. To which I re responded, you can take your revolution and shove it up your knickers. Well, after my musical career, I, um, I sit at home and uh, I think back a lot. And uh, I write musical jingles. It was one of my favorites. Hey, big boy, get me a pick! Your Majesty, I can't find one. I can't find one. I can't. Oh! Ah, uh, there's one. My name is Travis Tenfield. I've been working with Jackie for about. 14 years now, I got a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of slaps from him. Where's my cup of tea? I don't have it! <coughs> Did you record dancing with the stalls? No, I didn't! <coughs> Did you feed Puppet? No, I was gonna go right now, I was gonna go right now! <coughs> oh, Majesty, oh, Majesty. Oh, excuse me, I've been sick. 
Oh Jackie, when I saw him play live, I fell in love with him instantly. I just fell in love with the muscular man. Excuse me, I'm from the other side of the village. Do you find sometimes he can get a little um, hot tempered? Hey. Hot tempered? Oh, believe me, sometimes when he doesn't get any from his ex wife, he comes to slap me many times, not in the face, in other places of my body. And I don't know. You have to live, you have to, must, you have to understand, Jackie. You have to understand him. In a follow up interview, Jackie never really got around to doing anything. He mostly stays at home and plays with his dog, and occasionally invites his friends over for Thanksgiving dinner. Thus ends the story of Jackie Rowland. I love you, my puppet. You